Thank you. Good morning, all. Distinguished guests, Maria, fellow speakers, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor uh, to have been invited to Cybrication this year to present to you the background to and the way ahead for Swedish agile and cutting edge cybersecurity research, innovation and education. My name is David Olgart. I am the di director of Cyber Campus Sweden, a newly established triple helix center of excellence that aims to strengthen Sweden's resilience in the cyber domain. Before being appointed to be the director of Cyber Campus, I spent more than 25 years in the Swedish defense sector, working with information security, IT security, and cybersecurity, as well as having been responsible for directing and coordinating research and technology development for Sweden's military cyber defense. Enough about me. So, how did we end up where we are? I guess you all are familiar uh, with the never ending cybersecurity challenge that we have been facing ever since the beginning of the computer age. We are continuously being haunted by new critical security updates and patches. It has proved to be a really hard problem to build and secure software and hardware over time, even though the big software uh, and hardware companies employ tens of thousands of engineers and security experts they are still not able to produce solutions without inherent security holes. Also, the bad guys are re recurrently able to find and utilize glitches in our systems landscape that needs to be patched. We are still trying to solve how to set up and manage accounts in a secure way over time so that we can be sure who is who and who has a right to access what, when and from where, so that our information and system resources are safe all the time. It happens all the time that credentials are leaked and misused. When was the last time you checked if you had been pawned? We also struggle to make sure our data and systems configurations are available when we need to access them and that our data is stored and backed up in a secure way so that we can restore normal operations when and if an adversary tries to deny us our services and or extort us by holding our information and data hostage. We need to turn the tables on the cybersecurity challenge. We need to find a way to not only rely on best practice to end the never ending story. Best practice is not enough. Cybersecurity research, implementation and deployment have not kept pace with the rapid progress of digital, digitalization. It will become increasingly difficult to manage incidents after the fact. We need all of society to contribute to a higher level of lowest cyber hygiene. One consequence of weak security by design is increased demand on the cybersecurity workforce which is already understaffed. An exceptionally competent cybersecurity workforce is required to defend the vulnerable systems that constitute society's digital infrastructures. A recent study estimated the size of the global cybersecurity workforce at 5.5 million, a 9% increase from 2022. Conversely, the global workforce gap continues to grow even faster. The gap grew by 13% from 2022. There are now roughly 4 million cybersecurity professionals needed worldwide, more than 340,000 in Europe alone. The profession needs to almost double to be at full capacity. One solution to these problems consists of developing better tools and methods for secure system design and operation. Both training of the workforce and new tools and methods must be based 
on cutting edge research and its translation into innovations. Enter Cyber Campus Sweden. Cyber Campus will be a vital hub for cybersecurity research, innovation, and education, and other Swedish initiatives in the field of digitalization. Cyber Campus is organized as a national collaboration that creates unique and valuable opportunities for collaboration between universities and research institutes, with government agencies and the private sector. Cyber Campus Sweden identifies, executes, strengthens, and, sorry, and coordinates cross-university education, research, and innovation on topics important for Swedish civil and military cyber defense, as well as industrial competitiveness. The mission of Cyber Campus Sweden is to carry out agile and cutting edge cyber defense and security research, innovation and education vital for a resilient Sweden, beyond what is possible for a single organization, and also academia, private and public sector together. The core objectives are agile education, like cutting edge, upskill and reskill, and awareness training, joint research, to identify, execute, and coordinate cross-university research on cybersecurity topics with an interdisciplinary approach, like technical, legal, societal, global, and national security policy approach. Also, protected innovation to bridge open academic research and protection of innovations for defense and in industry, and also being a competent body of expertise for decision makers with timely, well-informed, and organizationally neutral advice and expert opinions to decision makers at all levels of society and to all levels of society. Also delivering coordinated EU participation and soon also in a NATO context, hopefully. All of this to create international visibility through strategic international partnerships and international exchanges and scholarship programs together and also trying to create visibility in national and international media. And, and that is uh, for, for the use of recruitment of international experts to Sweden and to Cyber Campus. All of this based on a national research infrastructure that is a unique national research infrastructure for cybersecurity uh, to provide synergies with existing research and innovation facilities. So, how did CyberCamp Campus come about? Well, the initial idea was actually formed in the spring of 2021, and I do still actually have the napkin in my drawer in, in my office. The initiative was officially launched in April 2022, and we have been working together uh, with all of Sweden, actually, interdisciplinary, uh, with an interdisciplinary approach with universities, authorities, and industry. The planning group for this uh, consisted of one larger and one smaller university, KTH in Stockholm and Karlstad University outside of Stockholm. We brought in two authorities, the Swedish Armed Forces and the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency, to try and cover both the defense and security side of, of, of the cyber domain. And also two industry representatives, here represented by um, Saab and Ericsson. This work was funded by the Swedish uh, innovation agency Vinova through an industry government partner organization called Advanced Digitalization. And then, just a few weeks ago, the government announced its support uh, for Cyber Campus on November 6, in, uh, including 100 million Swedish kroner over three years to start with. So that's a good start. That was actually the fifth day uh, at my new work. So. <laughs> All right, so the approach then. 
We have tried to work together, as I said earlier, uh, together universities, institutes, industry and government authorities from all over Sweden, represented by more than 150 cybersecurity cross-domain experts uh, and using workshops, one-on-one -on -one meetings, seminars and conferences and outreach activities like this. All of this to complement uh, and strengthen already ongoing initiatives in Sweden. For example, the relatively newly established National Cybersecurity Center that coordinates activities between the Swedish Defense Radio Establishment, really the Signals Intelligence Agency, the Swedish Armed Forces, the Swedish Security Service, the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency, the Swedish Defense Material Administration, and the Swedish Police and also the Swedish post, uh, post and Telecom Authority. Also, the Swedish cybersecurity node that uh, initiates and runs innovation and research projects and activities called CyberNode here in this slide. There is also another initiative ongoing, the Swedish National Coordination Center that helps to promote EU initiatives in Sweden, provides guidance and, on EU calls to enable Sweden to participate and benefit from EU-funded cybersecurity programs. All of this to make sure that cyber campus, the cyber campus piece fits in the puzzle, or the cybersecurity landscape of Sweden. We have conducted physical visits to European cyber campus counterpart organizations like Athene uh, at the Fraunhofer Institute in Frankfurt, Germany, and cyber campus in Switzerland to listen and to learn their experiences of do's and don'ts in order to establish a cyber campus. We have also conducted web browsing, obviously, uh, on other relevant initiatives across Europe, and this was partly because of COVID, because we couldn't travel. We have also had discussions in Sweden uh, with an initiative called SciLife Lab uh, that conducts research, innovation and education regarding life science to see how they function today in the Swedish system, having, having been established as a national initiative for more than 10 years ago, and they are still successfully uh, conducting their operations. So then, what can we expect? Well, we aim for uh, directing and creating context and uh, having an interdisciplinary approach. These boxes here on, on this slide are, uh, are just examples of what we're looking into. But we think that we need to establish uh, know-how on secure cloud and edge. We also think that we need to, uh, uh, to solve how to utilize and manage the amalgamation between ordinary IT, operational technology, and the Internet of Things, be it a cat camera or something connected to your heating of your house. We also need to figure out how to automate cybersecurity because of the skills gap. And also we need to figure out how to train for worst case scenarios using cyber rangers. On the agile education part, we think that we need cutting edge education for university students and doctoral students. We also need to come up with agile ways of how we teach and train, in how to create new content, in how to deliver education and training, uh, like challenge-driven or like gamification, like we see below, uh, one stairs below from us today. And also in who teaches and trains, be it universities and vocational uh, universities working closely together, with industry and authorities to figure out what is really needed here and now and also in the strategic uh, term. We also need to figure out how to upskill and reskill to solve to make best use of the workforce today, like to handle the skills gap. We also need awareness training for all, like a higher level of lowest cyber hygiene for all. To sum it up, 
Cyber Campus will carry out agile and cutting edge cyber defense and security research, innovation and education vital for a resilient Sweden. Beyond what is possible for a single organization, academia, private and public sector together, and also to create international visibility for Sweden, to bring in uh, experts to Sweden and also to reach out to experts outside of Sweden working together. With that, I'd like to thank you for listening to me, trying to explain the how, why, and what regarding CyberCampus Sweden. Thank you, Cybercation, for inviting me. And also thank you to the Nordic Council of Ministers Office in Estonia and CTF Tech for organizing this important event. Thank you. Thank you so much, David. And before you go, actually, uh, I'm going to ask you like more a personal approach question. Mm -hmm. If you would think about this year, 2023, what would you call like your personal biggest achievement in cyber in cyber campus there in, in Sweden? Something that you're like super proud, like in the beginning of the year that you've started with something or you have like really managed to, you know, really achieve something very great that you were personally wanted to bring it out. You mean, you mean for 2023? It could be also maybe last year, but okay. something you've been working for a while and you can, you say, you as a director of this, okay. that you're very proud that mm -hmm. you have achieved that. Well, well, actually, it's the establishment of the whole thing and also the government uh, promise to and support to, to uh, fund us. Uh, it usually should take uh, several years, but we really managed this in like 18 months. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, that's astonishing, really. All right, that's that's a good answer. All right, um, uh, as I have still like questions as well uh, for for later on as well, but uh, I would still encourage our audience to jump in as well. Uh, but you can do that uh, through Slido. So I, I would be actually very happy. Yeah, we already have uh, on on the screen as well that you can scan this uh, QR code, or there is also uh, the number that you can of course ask the questions from our speakers, and then of course also there are polls that you can say how much you have enjoyed today's event. Uh, different kind of presentations and what you're also expecting for the, for the next year. But uh, I would like to say a very big thank you for you, David, and um, uh, for uh, like talking about what's happening in Sweden.